In this video, we will learn how to start our first Zoom meeting and learn the layout of the Zoom meetings interface. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and smash that notification bell to get notified every time a new video drops. Let's get to it. A metallic blue globe is seen spinning in the center of the screen on a dark blue background. The words vision optional slide in each side. Below, braille letters appear one by one, spelling out vision optional. Introduction to hosting a Zoom meeting with JAWS. I already have the Zoom meetings client up and focus is on the home tab. To make sure that this is the case, I'm going to hit the key combination insert tab. I'll do that now. Home tab check selected. To switch pages, press control plus page down, H. I am looking for the start new meeting tab. So I'm going to tab until I find the start new meeting tab. Search edit. Zoom, k.icrawley, status, available, license to I hit control to stop the speech and I will continue. Setting button. Starting a new meeting with video off button. Starting a new meeting with video off. So if I was to hit this button right now, I would start a new meeting with video off. This would be an audio only meeting. But before I do, let's look at some of the other options. New meeting option button drop down. Here we go new meeting option button drop down i'm going to press my down arrow to open the drop down start with video unchecked start with video unchecked so if i wanted to start a meeting with video on i would hit space bar here space start with video checked start with video checked and then if i were to go back to that button it would say start new meeting with video on, but I don't want video on for this exercise. I'm going to hit the space bar again to uncheck it. Space, start with video, unchecked. I'm going to press down arrow again to the next option in the list. Use my personal meeting ID left paren PMI right paren, unchecked. Use my personal meeting ID or PMI. So what is the personal meeting ID? The personal me meeting ID is the ID that's associated with your Zoom meetings account. This ID does not change, and it is important to be aware of who you give this out to. As long as they have your PMI and your password, neither changes. Therefore, if you start a new meeting, and they have this information they can drop in at any time even if they were not invited I would not suggest checking this box unless you are hosting a meeting with someone you wouldn't mind having this information with so when this box is not checked you are given a random meeting ID and this is a lot more secure in my opinion so we're going to hit escape to get out of this drop down escape New meeting option button drop down. I'm going to hit the key combination shift tab to return to the start new meeting. Starting a new meeting with video off button. Now we're going to hit enter to start our first meeting. Enter. Leaving menus. Zoom. Now we are in our first meeting. And a lot of these options we're going to look at in more detail in later lessons, but for now it's important for us to get familiar with the interface of the host settings. So I'm going to tab. Meeting details, settings button. This is the meeting details settings button, something we will look at at a later lesson. Exit full screen button. Exit full screen button. And again, I'm pressing tab to access each button in this interface. The full screen button can also be toggled by pressing the key combination Alt F. So instead of having to tab around and to find this button every time you want to toggle it, you can hit the key combination Alt F. And there are key combinations associated with many of the features within this interface and we'll learn that shortly. Join audio button join audio button you want to make sure that you hit this button to 
join your computer audio. This means that you will be able to hear participants in the meeting and they will also be able to hear you. Share screen button. Share screen button. We'll talk more about this in a moment. Invite others button. Invite others. This is where you will obviously go to invite participants to the meeting that you are currently hosting or will be hosting in the future. And you can get to this quickly as well by pressing the key combination Alt I for invite. Unmute currently muted button. Unmute currently muted. This button and all of the buttons on here you can activate by pressing the enter key. But for maximum efficiency, the way to toggle mute on and off is by simply pressing the key combination Alt A. I'll do that now. Mute. Currently unmuted. Button. Audio not muted. Audio not muted. I'm going to hit that again. Unmute. Currently muted button. Audio muted. Audio muted. So this is a quick way to toggle your microphone on and off. And it's important to be aware of the current status of your audio because you never know what may be happening in your environment and you don't want to disturb the meeting. I'm going to tab to the next button. Audio settings button. Audio settings button. So in the previous video, we learned uh, how to manipulate some of the audio settings, test our speakers, our microphone, and so on. Well, you can also do this within a meeting, and this is a convenient feature because you may find that while you are participating in a meeting, they may, there may be some audio issues going on. So you don't have to leave the meeting in order to fix those issues. Next button. Start video button. Start video button. Again, you can hit enter here to start the video if you have a web webcam connected to your desktop or an internal cam in your laptop. This can be toggled with the key combination Alt V. Security button. Security button. This is a very important button because Zoom has been experiencing many issues as of late and we'll talk about this as, at a later date. Closed open participants panel one participants button. Closed open participants panel and then it gave the number of participants which is one because I am the only person in this meeting at the moment. And this also can be accessed quickly with the key combination Alt U. And we'll look at this in more detail in the next lesson. Open chat panel button. Open chat panel. The chat panel is like a built in chat room into your Zoom meeting. And it's a great way for participants to communicate, especially if you have the home room muted because you are giving a presentation, they can still drop their comments, questions, and so on in the chat box. Share screen button. Share screen button. This is a feature that we here at Vision Optional use very often um, for teaching purposes. We use this to share our screen to show our students how to perform specific tasks on the computer. You can also share your screen to show a video, to give presentations, um, access PowerPoint slides, and so on. So this is a very, very important feature for hosts. And it's, it's one feature that many of us blind uh, hosts need to be aware of and need to know how to use because there are ways for you to uh, share the speech of your screen reader and and so on. So we'll, we'll look at this again in a later lesson. Share option button. Share option button. This will show you um, options related to sharing. Record button. Record button. Now, if you're on a basic account, you only have the ability to record locally. You would hit the key combination Alt R to record um, the meeting and you can hit Alt R again. It's also a toggle. You can hit Alt R again to stop the recording. 
And this allows you to record either the entire meeting or to record segments. And it's good for podcasting, for breaking up lessons, and there's many different ways to use the recording feature. Now, if you have a pro account, as I do, you also have the option to record in the cloud with the key combination Alt-E instead of R, and that's also a toggle. And what you will um, be doing is it won't be stored locally. It won't be stored on your hard drive. It will be stored in your cloud. And for pro users, you get, I believe, a gigabyte of storage in the cloud. So it's very useful to those who want to record their meetings and meeting button and the meeting button you can hit enter here to end the meeting uh, this is also associated with a key combination alt q for quit and then a dialogue will pop up and give you the options to leave the meeting and i'll do that now i will hit the key combination alt q Alt Q, end meeting or leave meeting. To keep this meeting running, please assign a host. So you have the option to sign, assign a host or just leave the meeting completely. So we're going to tab. Leave meeting button. Going to tab again. Cancel button. So you have a cancel and a leave meeting button. I'd like to give feedback to Zoom checkbox not checked. There's a checkbox. You will hit space bar if you want to give feedback to Zoom. End meeting for all button. End meeting for all button. Leave meeting button. Leave meeting button. I want to end meeting for all, so I'm going to shift tab. End meeting for all button. I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Zoom. End meeting button. Menu. Return to meeting button. Leaving menus. Zoom. And now the meeting has been ended, and so has this lesson. Be sure to check out the next video and follow us on all of your social media uh, platforms and be sure to check out the website at www.visionoptional.com. A page appears. Subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Anchor FM, and Twitter at Vision Optional.